Hello grade 5, today our lesson is chapter 11 decimal numbers. Let's begin. You have as agenda homework page 44 exercise 2, 3 and 4. Let's see, first of all, write the fraction represented by the colored part. Here I have a form. Let's see this form, how many portions did he have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this form represents 10 parts. How many colored parts let, uh, do we have? 1, 2, 3, we have three colored parts, so I have three over ten. So three tenth. So I have three colored parts over ten parts. So how do I write the number that represent this fraction? I have three over ten. Over ten means I have one digit after the point so I have one digit after the point so I write 0 0.3 let's see here I write 0 0.3 I have only one digit after the point why because I have 10 as a denominator so 0 0.33 three is one digit after the point because I have one zero in the denominator so if I have over 10 this means I have one digit after the point here I have the same, the same form, but it's uh, it's divided to uh, more parts. The here I have one hundred part. Let's see how many parts are colored in this. Here I have ten, twenty, thirty. I have thirty over one hundred. Thirty from one hundred are colored, so I have thirty parts colored from 100 parts how do I write it in decimal numbers let's see here I have 30 over 100 it's 0 0.30 when I have over 100 I have two zeros so I have two digits after the point so I write 30 I, ha I count 1 2 here I have two digits I put the point and I put 0 so 0 0.30 if I'm going to think, I can eliminate this zero because this zero is on the right of the point. So I can eliminate it. So it's 0 0.3. This means 30 over 100 is equal to 3 over 10, right? I can eliminate this zero with this zero. So 30 over 100 is equal to 3 over 10. Look, if I put zero here, it's the, it's the same thing. So observe and complete. Activity page 43. Let's see. Here I have a line that it divided that it's divided to many parts. Here I have one tenth. So one tenth is equal to zero point one zero point one. Because I have zero in the denominator, so I should have only one digit after the point, so it's called one tenth. Five tenth. Five tenths is zero or uh, zero point five. Zero point five, <clears throat> and it's called five tenth. Now ten over ten. Ten over ten is equal to one, because the numerator, uh, the numerator is equal to the denominator, but it's called one. So it's one, O N E. One. Now I have eleven tenth. Eleven tenth. How do I write it? If I'm going to write it in in decimal number, I write it. 1.1 1 .1. I should have only one digit after the point so I I write 11 and I count one digit and I put the point so I write 11 and I count one digit and I put the point so 1.1 1 
it's 11 tenth. Now I have 12 over 10. 12 over 10, this means 1.2. I write a 12 and I count one digit and I put the point. So 1.2 It's uh, and I read it 12 tenth, 12 tenth. Here I have also another example. Here I have one hundredth, one hundredth. So I write one, I count two digits, one. I add zero to have two digits, two, and I put the point. So I have two digits after the point, it's called one hundredth. Here I have six hundredth, so I write six also. I count two digit, I add zero, so I have two digit and I put zero point, so zero point zero six, so six hundredth, ten hundredth, I can eliminate a zero here and a zero here, so the answer will be zero point one, I can eliminate this zero right, because uh, it's zero on the right of the point so ten hundredth now I have eleven hundredth I write eleven I count two digit and I put the zero point so eleven hundredth twelve hundredth also I write twelve I count two digit and I put the point twelve hundredth so all these fractions are called decimal fractions and all these numbers are called decimal numbers. So the, num the fraction that has 10 or 100 as denominator is called decimal fraction and the number that has point are called decimal numbers. Now page 44 exercise 1. Write the following decimal fraction in the form of decimal numbers. Let's see. Here I have 135 over 10. What should I do? I put the point. I should have one digit after the point. So I count one. So the point should be here. So I have 13.5. Now I have 101 over 100. 100, 100. So I write 101 and I count two digit. One, two. So the point should be here, so I have two digits after the point because I have 100 in the denominator. So it's 1.01. .01. Now I have 125 over 10. Over 10, this means I should have one digit after the point. So the point should be here because I, I count one digit and I put the point, so 12.5. Now I have... 1998 over 100 I should count two digit one two and I put the point so 19.98 three hundredth so I have three I count two digit one I should add zero two I put the point and I put zero point so zero point zero three thirteen tenth 1.3 I should have one digit after the point so I put the point here now I have 556 794 hundredth what should I do I count two digit because I have hundred as denominator and I put the point so one two I should put the point here so the answer will be 5,567.94 Now I have 100th 100th This means I should have two digits after the point So 0 0.01 is the answer Thank you my students Don't forget to do your agenda